What's up Flick Connection, this is Darren, and today I want to show you how I made this Owl Blade Runner t-shirt. It's in a screen print style using just some regular household items. So I first started off by gathering some Blade Runner Owl designs. There's a lot of stuff out there. And just a quick Google image search really gave me some cool ideas. And I could have gone a bunch of different ways, but I ultimately settled on sort of this wing spread, uh, wingspan design that would just go across the chest. I thought it would make a really nice t-shirt design. And essentially just by referencing uh, that design on my phone, I did a quick sketch. Um, I, I'm fairly skilled at this, so I was able to do it by hand and just went and did a very rough X-Acto knife uh, cut, folded the design in half, and then did it again on the other side of the, the sheet with some minor variations just so it wasn't perfectly symmetrical. And you can see ultimately what that looked like here. Um, I'm now sticking down some double-sided tape and you wanna go really close to the edge in as many places as possible. Any spot that you miss, uh, that you don't get up close to the edge, or any, any broad areas where you don't get tape close to the edges, you're going to have sort of a, uh, a faded effect, which you'll see in the final product. I wanted that somewhat in the middle of the wings, but I wanted the edges to be sharp. So then you just pat that down really, really firmly. You want to make really good contact with the flat shirt. So do it on a firm surface, press it down firmly, and make sure you get any last little details glued down. You, you may need to use a pair of scissors to cut some tiny pieces of double-sided tape. I had some additional pieces from the, the cutout that I wanted to stick back into my negative space, such as the beak, and then just some detailing in the body so that it's not just one like, like uh, pint glass, like Guinness glass kind of shape. I wanted to get a little bit of detail back in there, so that required me just gluing some uh, pieces back down. And here's just a close-up of what the final thing looks like. It's actually on the shirt, in the placement it's going to be on. And I just eyeballed it. I mean, it's pretty easy to put this in between the uh, sleeves. It's going all the way across the chest from seam to seam. And now I'm going to gear up with some face protection. And some standard gold spray paint. And a hanger. So here's my setup outside, and what you want to do is you want to prevent overspray. Uh, the, the spray paint is going to hit the shirt if you don't mask it. I'm using this copy of Bon Appetit magazine, but you could use newspaper or you know anything that you have laying around. This was literally the first thing I grabbed, and what you want to do is you want to get full coverage. You want to completely cover everything, because anything that's not covered is going to get spray paint on it. It does go everywhere. So I make sure I get you know the entire shirt completely covered up. And it is not on a flat surface. So what you don't see me do here is put the entire magazine uh, inside the shirt to create a flat surface uh, for the painting. That way it's not all rippled up. Um, so that's important as well. You want to have something, either do it on a flat surface or create a flat surface. And also putting the magazine on the inside is going to prevent any bleed through, which can happen depending on how much you saturate it. And then here's where I really mess up. My uh, camera actually shut down and I didn't realize I completely missed spraying the shirt. But I'll make up for that later in this video. I'll show you an example of what to do. But here's what it looked like immediately after spraying it. You can see uh, there's a higher concentration around the outside of the wings. I kind of wanted a faded look from the edge of the feathers inward. And I just did that by, by getting a, a denser, uh, concentration of the paint around the outer edge and then I hit the middle with a little bit of silver just to give it sort of a two-tone look but it's really straightforward it's really basic you just sort of do a nice even coating and then go back and let it build up so while that was drying which only takes about 15 minutes I decided to go inside and do a quick unicorn stencil to put on the back of the shirt and there goes my tripod sliding down, but you get the idea. So 
So here we are, totally dry. I'm back indoors, it's dry to the touch. It's no longer really tacky. I'm not getting any on my finger, it's ready to peel up. Do this very carefully uh, because the, the paint is dry to the touch, but it's not completely dry. And if you were to stretch the shirt by pulling it, uh, it may not snap back. The uh, tackiness of the paint may cause the shirt to warp a little bit as it is still drying, or you could just wait for it to dry and then rip it off. But as you can see, some of that uh, tape is gonna stick to the shirt and you can just peel it right off. It, it may be a little stubborn, but it will come off and it won't ruin the shirt in any kind of way. And here's, here's what it looks like. Here's how it came out. Uh, it essentially looks like a screen print. Um, it's a really good way of doing it. I've done it a couple of different ways, including just acrylic paint. I just mix the color I want, use the same approach with the stencil, and brush it on. But what you really want to do either way is you want to you want to know that the paint is is going to coat it thinly. Give it just a second to sort of not dry, but to sort of set into the fabric, and then uh, hit it again, and you'll start to build it up. You'll see where I sort of built it up heavier around the outer edges. And then here you'll see I went back. Uh, I actually just mixed some acrylic paint in sort of a, a bright orange color uh, to get those bright eyes. I felt like the, uh, the spray paint alone didn't really come across. It just looked like an owl and that those eyes really set it off to, to be more reminiscent of Blade Runner. But ultimately I'm really happy with the design. I got a little bit more overspray than I had wanted, but it's still a cool design. I'm happy with the way it turned out. So here, here's what spraying actually looks like with my unicorn design. This is on the top of the back of the shirt. I did the same thing, masked the shirt off outside, got the magazine underneath it for stability and to prevent bleed through. And then what you want to do is you just shake up the can and give it a nice even mist. I'm just misting it in order to sort of wet it give it a second and just by a second I mean just like a one two three count it'll sort of adhere and then you can hit it again and you'll you'll notice immediately you're getting you can see there you immediately get uh, a better coverage because now the this paint this coat basically has another coat to stick to and it works out much better with the final product I literally took a pencil the same pencil I drew with and just took white titanium white acrylic paint and did some tiny, tiny little detailing just to, just to draw out some uh, highlights. This is totally optional. I really like the way it came out. I wanted a little bit of a feathering effect and that worked out really well. I'm ultimately really happy with the shirt. That's how you make your own uh, screen print style shirt. Um, if you do make your own, definitely share it with me. You can DM me on Instagram uh, at Flick Connection. And if I like the design, I'll definitely share it with all of the followers we have there. Uh, but I hope you like this video. Give this video a thumbs up and I'll consider doing more of them. I definitely want to do what you guys want to watch. So thanks for watching and you will see me next time.